Hello there, welcome back to another YouTube video of Dungany Titan and once again we're in World of Tanks Console, Mercenaries and we're on the Xbox with the Skoda T50, the Czechoslovakian Tier 9 Medium Tank Now this is not the video that I intended to use for the first look of the Skoda T50 That one turned out to be incomplete uh, For some reason the recording cut off abruptly before the end of the actual recording and I didn't realize it So this one does not have the stock gun now the stock gun was sufficiently frustrating that I actually skipped the second package or at least part of the second package um, And used free XP to skip the second package because I'd play it out Well, sorry I actually had reached the second package or close enough to it but I actually didn't didn't play the second package and went straight to the third one and used free XP for that the reason I took this particular step was that I found the stock gun just to be a little too troll with um, top tier tanks the, the penetration just wasn't in it so in contrast to the previous Czech tanks what you have here is a more rugged tank it's got better armor um, the armor would hold up better. I mean, it's not a heavy tank by any means, or it's not a, a, even a heavily armored medium tank by any means. But the armor is. Um, will actually bounce some shots. It's, it is significantly better armored than previous versions. So. But it's also got better gun handling, or at least it's got better aim time. But it sacrifices uh, penetration. So the stock gun will work very well against uh, lower tier tanks of any type and probably against the lightly armoured tanks at tier but it would really struggle against heavily armoured tanks that are tier 9 and a lot of more heavily armoured tier uh, 10 vehicles. You will have real problems with it and you will also have problems even at range. I mean I had side shots on an M103 in a game and I must have bounced 10 of them now i didn't have any premium ammo at that point in time and i was using the regular standard ammo um so there is something to be said i suppose if you're using the stock gun that if i'd used more premium ammo i'd have had a less frustrating time so it's kind of dependent on how well you do with it on map and stuff like that when you're stuck the second gun improves in the penetration and it improves in the gun handling. I don't think the accuracy improves for any of the guns, but the aim time goes down as you go up along the guns. So I'm on the second gun, and the performance of that one is what I would call acceptable. Uh, it's not a great gun in terms of penetration, but it is an acceptable gun. You just have to find the opportunities to send to use the mobility of the tank to make it work. Um, but you can't, again, it's not a gun where you can face frontal. I don't think any of the guns have the penetrating power to face enemy tanks from the front uh, and penetrate. This is not like, say, the, uh, the L7A1 gun in the final gun and say, the Leopard first prototype, which basically punched through the front of anything, especially with the heat armor, uh, punched through the front of anything. It's uh, it's asked to deal with. This thing is a, go a tank. You're going to be more judicious about your positioning. But once you're, you know, taking into account its limitations, it's actually a perfectly fine tank. I actually. Uh, I think personally, I mean, I probably prefer it to any of the other chick tanks that I have uh, played with so far. But then I've always uh, placed a very high priority on, on uh, snappy, good gun handling. So, com uh, well, not complete contrast to the Leopard uh, experience, but definitely a contrast, I think, to the Leopard experience. Now I did, as I said, um, I 
did uh, skip the third package, yes, the third package on this gun, so I went straight to, from the first stock package to the second gun, as soon as I could. I just thought that the gun handling was worth it, and I just, again, I had the free experience to do it, so now I don't have much free experience left. So the rest has to be ground out the old-fashioned way, at least until I build up another stock of free experience. So we've managed to handle this battle quite nicely, um, partly because we had enough tanks on the western side, but also I think the enemy light and medium tanks were a little bit on the wild and woolly side, and not as well coordinated as they might have been. And while there was a big chunk of heavy tanks over here, they're rapidly running out, there might not be many left by the time I get here. So we have an object 257, and well, I still have premium ammo left. And like I said, the previous game now I had, I found it impossible to penetrate a 257 from any angle. But admittedly I was trying to do it at much longer range, that's a 50 TP, which is another pretty rough, tough tank. And we will talk about that in a future video, and uh, here's a 257, Can I get the shot in. On. Slope here is sufficiently steep. Oh yes, we got punched through the upper side armor there. And we're gonna get all the shots through the same location and uh, there is just the IS-6 left. The IS-6 is not in the same league as these the other tanks. So we quite easily finish him off. And we had a very successful game obviously as we can see seven kills 2700 damage, bit of assisted damage as well. Doesn't make money, that's the one thing I noticed about this tank either. Uh, no matter what I do, well, I'm, admittedly, I'm running premium consumables, but it's. Uh, I've run cre premium consumables on other tanks and generally have made money with games like this, whereas this tank tends to lose money hand over fist, which is why. Uh, I'm recently now going to switch back to premium tanks for a while and uh, make some more money so that I can play the tier 9s. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please press like, comment, share, it really helps the channel out. And if you have not already done so, please subscribe to the channel. I will catch you all again soon, bye for now.